Hello, welcome to the world of Izzy. And here we go. I am going to give you right now a thought of mine, which is genius. So you better not miss it. And I will also give you um, a couple of stock picks, maybe two or three, um, depending on how well behaved you are. Um, and uh, here's my thought right now, just in general, on the state of America and the woke utterly woke SJWs um, and why we have such allegedly uh, fraudulent the, this fraudulent allegedly fraudulent voter fraud and I didn't use the word widespread or YouTube will have a hissy fit because um, Google is so woke and YouTube is so woke and uh, that dude with, uh, with the freaking um nose ring and a beard the hippie got dude with it with uh i'm nothing against hippies by the way uh but uh when when they um look like they're about to uh sink into a coma from uh doing way too much ketamine um at a hearing so that yeah that's not cool so it's from twitter he did dorsey um yeah jack dorsey with the nose ring he probably has a nipple ring also. I'm just, I would just guess. Uh, I don't want to go there though. Swipe that image out. Anyway, uh, I mean, so you, you match it with the fact that how crazy these elections are. Well, I could believe it. I mean, you look up, you look at Lo, uh, uh, Jake Paul and he was on an interview with these two uh, black females African-American females, I don't know what the political term is these days, um, but I'll call them not white. I don't know, maybe that's racist too. Um, and they told him that he was racist for knocking out Nate Robinson, who, if you don't know, they had a boxing match. They didn't, they were, they didn't meet, meet up in the street or anything like that, but they had a boxing match. And the goal of a boxing match, by the way, is to knock out your opponent, to beat him up to punch him in the face and knock him out and they asked him they said Do you, don't you think it's racist um that you knocked out nate robinson who's black and he's like no it's a sport and they're like oh come, you need you need to come in the conversation son like and he's like what and even jake paul who I have nothing against, but somehow, some, some, for some reason, people uh, don't like him so much. Maybe because he's so successful and makes a lot of money. I don't know, but they even he's like the most. I don't know. He's probably a liberal as well. But he, you, you see that you see the the cr the craziness in this. You see, you see the lunacy. So yeah, that's how um, that's how people could vote for a bumbling idiot like Joe Biden and yeah now the stock picks sorry for your going off on that little rant not sorry because people need to be really woke the real woke not the fake woke because if I was that kind of woke I'd rather be not woke hashtag not woke anyway so the stock picks right now high tide by the way high tide this is one of the only profitable MJ stocks in the world right now of only about, you know, a couple dozen. And they are located in Canada. They're retail only, so they don't have the growers issue. Um, if anyone's familiar with the cannabis industry, there was a major uh, overgrowing issue in 2018 because Canada legalized cannabis, but they basically allowed you to open one store per province or something and they you couldn't start uh introducing edibles into stores until about december 2019 um, which basically put every company um, every company into debt or bankruptcy or whatever um now companies are starting to bounce back a little bit but they still have a long way to go most of them uh except for afria and uh you know a couple others but Anyways, High Tide is way undervalued. It is right now the number one retailer, retail, retail um, cannabis company in um, 
Canada. Um, they have an amazing CEO named Raj Grover, who is a who I speak to very often, and he is amazing. Um, Fire and Flower, which is uh, the second to leading company in the space. Um, they are the, their stock price right now is at about sixty to seventy cents. Uh, um, USD and High Tide, who recently became the number one because they they acquired Meta Growth, which is another company that had a lot of stores, so they merged. High Tide ate them, and now High Tide is the biggest. Um, High Tide, the price, the share price just jumped a little bit from seven to seventeen cents, and High Tide just announced. They're planning on uplisting to the NASDAQ. The ticker is H-I-T-I-F on the OTC and H-I-T-I, I believe, dot V on the Toronto Stock Exchange. And, uh, yeah, and they have uh, their catalysts are they own GrassCity.com, which is the number one site for cannabis accessories, number one, and they are poised to grow in the U.S., they're getting involved in the U.S., they own cbdcity.com, uh, they own famous brands, which they, they created famous brands, which enables them to uh, market on their products. I'll just give you two two names, and then that should be enough for you. Um, well, it's actually three, but kind of two. Chi Jin Chong, Chi Jin Chong, Snoop Dogg. You can market them. Market, and they, they, they have the licensing to market Cheech and Chong and Snoop Dogg. So, crazy, ridiculous. Um, they make their stuff. They sell it. Enough. Buy it. Just not financial advice, but buy it. Buy it. Yes, financial advice, maybe. Um, next one, I'm not going to... Sorry for taking so long on that one. Next one, I promise you, is going to be much, much quicker. Um, Hive blockchain, I'm sure people heard about it, but right now blockchain is going crazy and they're going into a bull market and you want to get Hive blockchain because Hive blockchain right now is, ma is mining Ethereum and they're mining about 400 Ethereum per day. You can look at the price of Ethereum right now, which is between $550 and $600 and Ethereum is set to go minimum to $1,000 this bull run. Um, expected by pretty much all analysts but um most people are expecting it to go higher than that um i would say it's gonna go to between five and ten thousand um i believe in it um but anyways they're mining get at 150 dollars per ethereum so do the math mining 400 a day at 150 dollars and the coin is worth 550 to 600 dollars profit margin that is about 500 percent unbelievable so get in on that and um another stock for you uh no i think i'm gonna keep it right there wrap it up thank you and bye